Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So Taurus, this reading will be for you if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, Venus, rising or north node or if you're dealing with the Taurus, okay guys? So please flip the roles if you need to, okay? And uh, take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, okay? As they are general readings, so not everything will resonate with you, okay guys? So, um, yeah, before I get started, I am doing a uh, deal with my um, personal readings. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. So give it a little read over, okay? Just the opportunity to have more people get a personal reading with me, okay? Because I know it's hard times. It could be hard times and stuff like that. But I want to be able to, um, you know, help as many people as possible, okay? So please tell me what's currently going on with Taurus. Let's see. We have the page of wands. So some of you guys are trying to get more fit. Some of you guys could be going to the gym more, thinking about um, your lifestyle, okay? So, oh, do you know what? That, I resonate with that. Taurus moon, I need to, I'm not going gym, but I need to be going gym because I've been eating so much, I'm not going to lie. Guilty. But yeah, some of you guys, um, you could be getting messages from people of interest as well. So people who are quite, um, someone's definitely attracted to you, okay? So you could be getting some messages from somebody. It could be a fire sign, it doesn't have to be, but it could be just somebody who's showing you a bit of interest, okay? So someone's giving you attention. If they're not now, they will be, okay? Somebody will be. If it doesn't resonate with you now, watch it in a week. Watch this reading again in a week's time or two weeks' time. It's crazy how things work out, okay? So we have the Four of Wands. Oh, my God. let me hold on let me get another one first what's what is this for the four of wands a lot of fiery energy some of you guys could be getting um your passion back for something or it could be you feel more enthusiastic about things okay because it's for the two fire cards to come out yeah so so okay so some of you guys are definitely home because the four of wands that speaks about the home the hermit that's somebody who's you know tends to be by themselves a lot that's also somebody who's at home okay some of you guys are doing a lot of things from home maybe that's why you guys are um oh this is for somebody not for everybody it's definitely not for me but some of you guys may be um creating a um channel for fitness or something like that or you could just be working out more um we've got the nine of wands here so, okay, there, there's a few more messages I'm getting from this. So I'm getting that, oh, there's so many. Okay, um, so this could be uh, the four of wands, the hermit, the nine of wands. This could be a situation where some of you guys are staying home more because of, um, how can I put it? maybe you feel like you're not connecting with certain people like people just aren't or the people that you have been meeting aren't just aren't for you so you might be like do you know what maybe it's time for me to stay in hermit mode keep to myself and just do what i need to do and able to move forward whatever that means for you okay so we have we have the king of swords we have the two of cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles. There's, you know what, guys? I feel like what's on your mind is, okay, for some of you guys, it's something to do with marriage or someone being married, okay? Stability, okay? Someone's in love here. Um, somebody is speaking about their relationship, their connection. Now, I'm not sure if you're married or if you want to be married or you have been married. It's something to do with marriage, okay? So you'll know what that means more than me, Taurus, okay? But in the middle is a nine of wands. So I feel like something's happened in the past or something keeps on popping up, okay? Because the other cards are quite good, but the nine of wands is like feeling like something's going to keep going a certain way, okay? 
but I'm still seeing you being optimistic about it, okay? There's definitely love here. There's, there's, a, there's a couple here and they're married or there's a couple here and they're in a, they're in a serious commitment, okay? And the signs that we have are um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Virgo, we have um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We have all the signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have all the signs there. Four of Cups. Okay, so there's something that you're kind of feeling like, oh, yeah, it's not going my way. So I'm not sure if you... It's going to be so different for everyone. It could be where you find yourself liking somebody who's in a commitment. It could be a fact where maybe you're in a commitment and you've fallen for somebody else. Or it could be where you're in a commitment with somebody and you want something to move forward, but you feel like something that's happened in the past, it may pop back up and you can sit, you're wondering, is it, is it um, worth your while uh, pursuing this connection? Okay, take, take whatever resonates, guys, okay? There's so many of you and I'm just getting so many messages, I don't know where to go with it, okay? So please take whatever fits for you, okay? We have the Emperor... Okay, we have the Four of Cups and the Emperor. Taking control of your emotions, okay? A situation hasn't worked out for you, okay? Next. Do you know what I mean? What's next? Not, not, it's not like um, avoiding your emotions or anything that, like that, but accepting something's not for you or something is, is for you, something else is for you, okay? And that, I'm not sure if I said this in your reading or Gemini's, but I did say... Oh, I did say, you know, sometimes when things don't work out how we want it to, sometimes it's a blessing, okay? So if, for example, say it's somebody that's in a connection that's showing you interest, how, if you did, if you did get with them, would you ever be able to trust them? No. No. I mean, some people, some people, some people really don't care. Some people just, they will do what it takes to get somebody regardless of whatever, okay? But hopefully... Hopefully we're not that kind of people, okay? Hopefully. So, you know, just knowing that certain things aren't for us. Okay, what's next? Something else is for me. What is? What are those things? So what, what is for you? What's coming towards you? Ten of swords. So some kind of betrayal, okay? So some of you guys felt betrayed. Some of you guys may have been promised something by somebody. Now, it doesn't have to be somebody who's married or something, anything to do with that, okay? You can completely discard that message if it's not for you. But it's like, it could be somebody that you're dealing with who's not giving you commitment, who's not putting you first or taking this connection seriously, okay? If that's the case, you know what to do. You know what to do. High Priestess, thank you. That, you know what, spirit, the cards, everything. You know what to do, High Priestess, right? You're intuitive, you know, you understand, right? Some of you guys have Pisces in your chart. You intuitively know what to do with this situation, but because feelings um, have been invested, are involved, it becomes difficult, you know? It becomes difficult, that's why. So maybe speak to somebody who is not emotionally involved and ask them for their opinion, okay? Ask them for their advice, yeah? I feel like I'm speaking very posh. I'm a bit tired, guys, so I'm trying my best to speak very clearly. Nine of Pentacles, all right, it's very clear. This is very clear. Some of you guys know it's better to be single than this person, to be independent, okay? A time to be self-sufficient and, and be... um. Yeah, and be confident that you're able to manifest a lot of things by yourself, okay? And as much as as much as much um, love is amazing, it's amazing when it's with the right person and it's um, reciprocated, you know, okay? Because it's horrible when it's one-sided. I'm sure we've all gone through that. I know I have. It's not nice. King of Pentacles, yeah, you want something more stable, more more um, consistent, something more um, grounded, something more long-lasting, something that's not just going to fizzle out, you know, something that's not like, a, um, um, how can I put it, 
a fling, you know? And sometimes it even feels like that with certain relationships. It's like, it feels like a fling, like, you know, especially when things are rushed or just kind of done off of impulse, you know? It doesn't, sometimes it works out, you know? Sometimes you those things do work out, but most of the time, you know, it don't. But anyways, please tell me more about Taurus. We have the Temperance and we have the Nine of Cups. So you will be healing from this, okay? Temperance and the Nine of Cups. Yeah? You will be healing from this. And you know what? You guys are going to be so happy. Yeah? You're going to gain a, there's this, a certain, there's like this understanding that you're, that you'll uh, be experiencing because of this, um, these epiphanies, these realizations, okay, that you'll be going through. Some of you guys are going to realize you are your own wish fulfillment. Put in yourself first. Thank you. Queen of Swords, yeah, but the thing is, you have to be very, um, what's the, how can I? You have to be very straightforward, yeah? Very direct, okay? Queen of Swords, if anyone's direct, it's the Queen of Swords, yeah? She tells it how it is, yeah? She ain't got time for the old chit-chat. Let you know, she lets you know what it is. All right. Wow, well, quite a few have come out. Okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Five of Pentacles. I see you leaving someone out in the cold. This could be somebody leaving you out in the cold. Either way, to see it as a blessing. Okay? Because I know it's hurtful when you're going through it and you've had nice experiences with people, or ups and downs and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, what we've got here is Six of Pentacles and a Six of Swords. So you're moving forward from the past. You're leaving the past for your own, for your higher, for your highest, um, for your higher good, guys. Okay. I see you moving forward. I don't see you stick. If this situation's been um a burden in your life, I see you leaving it, guys. I see you leaving it. Might not be right now, this second, but at some point you will become tired of it. You is not going to be fun anymore. You will put yourself first. Some of you guys have done this, and you are moving on. Okay. Some of you guys are moving on. And you're happier for it. And there's times where you're going to miss this person. And that's natural. It's normal. We're all human. But if they can't offer you what you deserve, then good riddance. Okay? I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, guys.